Hi, so in this video we're going to be talking about Stafford Castle. So currently it's running at about four and a half on TripAdvisor. So it's not just me saying it's a decent day out, it's, it's quite a few other people. So the castle grounds are around about 26 acres and that includes the castle, a visitor centre and also parking. The parking is actually really good on this site and I've always found uh, places to go, whether you're going just on the, the odd day or whether there's an actual event going on. The visitor centre I'd say is probably on the small side compared to some other castles you might go to. That's really because the castle here is probably also on the smaller side compared to say large ones like Work Castle. The visitor centre is really good. Uh, it's got a small gift shop which includes things like ice creams, drinks, the usual stuff you find in kind of castle visitor centres. So rubbers, pens, papers, books. Uh, the actual inside of it is kind of built as a, a kind of inside the castle type of a feel which you can see. Uh, through some of the pictures here and there's actually uh, quite a lot to look at and play with particularly if you've got young kids so they've got a range of different helmets chain mail armor and that's really fun to dress up and have, have a play about in those uh, they've also got stocks as well which is good fun to have a, a sit in and uh, photo opportunity there and then around the corridors of the visitor center they've got information uh, photos and also exhibits what's been found in the castle and a little bit about the history of it and explaining what it is and how it was used and those are really interesting and i'd say you know if you're going to stop and play with the stuff and read all the different signs you're looking at a good 30 40 minutes inside the visitor center and when you come out of that you have a good understanding of the castle so i'd say definitely go in there first uh, as the weather's good get an ice cream and then prepare for the long walk up the hill and so what you'll find is when you're walking up you're walking through a kind of forested area which is really nice but when you get up there you kind of emerge out of the trees out of the forest and you have quite an imposing sight of the castle right on top of you uh, and that can make for a fantastic picture particularly if the sun's you know in the right place it looks fantastic when you get there but if you keep walking up you'll eventually walk around the outside and while you're doing that if you look over to your right you'll be able to see a more of a flat area and this is where the the outbuildings would have been um, and when you go up to further up you'll see some of the the signs they've got explaining what you can see from the particular positions you are and explain how it would have looked like in some of the exhibits that would have been found uh, when they're excavating and doing the the groundwork for the castle from here as well you've also got really really good views over stafford so as you proceed around the top of the castle uh, you'll keep going up and up and up until you get to the same level as the castle grounds and so over the years it has kind of fallen down but there's plenty of mock-ups uh, throughout the castle which gives you an idea uh, of what it would look like the great hall and things like that so we can see through some of the corridors and how it was built how it would look like and some of the artists impressions are quite good uh, and also in there you've also got even better views than you had on the outside uh, and you can see here from some of the pictures where the floor levels would have been you can see markings of doorways on the days where there's events it can be quite good as well so i, I recently went when they were doing a reenactment which is really good and you could go down and see how uh, how things would have looked and they had um kind of like a mock battle which is quite good to look at and uh, when they have the reenactments it, it can be really good also the shakespeare at the castle which is a, an annual thing now is, is fantastic and i'll put a link to the website for that so you can have a look at that i definitely recommend going to have the backdrop of the castle particularly when it's dark and lit up uh, is, is really good